Hey guys, the new challenger decks are out and it might be an opportunity. One of them is really good. It is the Arcane Temple deck and the cards in it actually can be played in modern. So a large chunk of the cards is land base and then a Arc Light Phoenix which is one of the most dominant modern decks at this time. Now Arcane Temple has a MSRP of $29.99 and the cards are valued at $122. Even if you assume it loses 66% of its value, you still did pretty well for yourself if you can find this deck at Walmart or Target. Now I don't expect the deck to sell for $29.99 at your local game store because you know, they gotta push some of it. Some of the decks will be more expensive. Some of them will not be as expensive. Uh, this, if everything was the same, then this would fly off the shelf. I like it a lot. Four ops, one Arc Light Phoenix, one of the most dominating cards, around $30 as of the recording of this video. Free Sofer Falls, which is around $10 a piece. So between four cards, you have $60 of retail value. Of course, that is very good when you're only paying $29.99. And you get, you know, Lava Coil, you get four ops, you get the resembling of a deck. Now, of course, this is actually the deck that is least well put together, uh, meaning out of the box, it's probably going to be the worst of the four decks. Nonetheless, I like it, and I would say if you can pre-order it for $29.99, absolutely do so. Um, otherwise, look, I mean, Walmart, Target will have this as it will have the other ones, but it might be difficult to get your hands on it, just like Hazret was last time. Now we have a Mono White. Uh, the Mono White, I like it, but long term, not very good. Has two histories of Banalia and two Legion's Landing. So between those four, that's the majority of the the price. Um, because it's mono white, you don't get any dual lands, and you don't get any you don't get any shock lands, and you don't get any buddy lands. You just kind of get ah, 20, 21 planes, right? Out of the box, this is pretty close. Um, maybe you just need two of them, and the reason is obviously you want four Legion's Landings and four History of Benalia. Um, I also think the sideboard on a lot of these makes sense to me. Um, this is around 60. So you have one at 120. The rest of them are around 60, 70. This is another one straight out of the box that is very good. Um, in this case, the most important card, Goblin Chain, is a four of. I like it. Uh, it's easy to play, easy to understand. You have four Lava Runners, Steamkins, and you just mono red. Uh, four li Wizard Lightning, also a very, very good card. So overall, I would say that when you look at the deck as a whole, um, this one, maybe you go four Lava Coil, maybe not. Maybe you take out a Fire, but it, it's the most ready to play. So if you only had $30, um, and it actually will be the cheap, cheapest one, I think either this one or the mono white will be a lot cheaper than the other two. And in terms of waiting game, the waiting game is going to favor the ones with the land in them because land is always valuable. Talking about land, this one has one Vraska, four cast down, which is pretty good. I do like cast down a lot. One overgrown and two Woodland Cemetery. So you got two of the Buddy Lands and one Shock Land. So land base is about the same uh, in terms of that you, you have, instead of a Buddy Land, you have a Shock Land, which right now is about the same value. In the future, I think Shock Lands will be more expensive than Buddy Lands, but when they're together, obviously the older one is a little bit more expensive. I like it. Um, I like this in multiple. So if I were to go ahead and buy decks, I would pick clearly the the tempo, the blue red tempo first. This would be a clear second in my opinion, and then there's kind of like a push on those other two. If you own a store, what you need to do is you need to sell those other two to carry these two, 
and hopefully these two will give you enough margins. Definitely, if you go to a Walmart or you go to Target, I know people are not happy with the Walmarts and Targets, just like they're not never happy with GameStop. They're, you know, big chain. Oh my, oh my. But this is the type of deal that you can get at a Walmart and Target that you may not get at your local game store. Your local game store is going to identify this deck, and I, I, I read on Reddit all the time. Oh, my local game store is a winner. Well, they just made a bad financial decision. If they sell this for twenty nine ninety nine, they're getting hosed because they have to carry the other decks. So it's not like a Walmart thing where if Walmart can't sell, they can return the product to Wizards of the Coast. They can just be like, oh, we didn't sell, or to whoever the um, M&M holdings, whoever they want to return the product to, they can because they're actually just selling the shelf space. Here, you know, I mean, so we have White Weenie at, as a cheaper, the cheapest one. We have Lightning Aggro at $79. Makes sense. It has four ofs of the cards that you want four of in the mono red. Deadly Discovery. 72 bucks, yeah. But Arcane Temple, buy, 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 buy. Uh, and you're not going to be able to buy from... I know that a lot of you will comment, oh, my local game store sells for $29.99 MSRP all the time. and they're all, Well, all it takes is one customer to buy them all out. Because that's what's going to happen. If a store does sell for $29.99, then any time they put out the product, the one customer is just going to buy the Arcane Temple. And then the store is going to be left with stuff they cannot sell. In the Walmart scenario, this is okay because it's Walmart. I mean, Walmart can, I mean, eat so much overhead that it's insane. But anyway, um, if you're interested in seeing vlogs about a new, um, a new ch creation called The Startup, uh, we will be beginning that very soon. We had some difficulties today. Uh, startup life is a lot of just um, random stuff. Our next door neighbors, who is, uh, I think they are a construction company. They spent all day mowing down trees and cutting them up. So we had to deal with that noise. And it's really like once you like have it for a few hours, like your head is ready to explode. Anyway, I hope I was coherent enough. Bye, guys.